Hi there, my name is Carson Bertelli, and today I will be talking about why we should make the switch from using plastic water bottles to start using refillable, uh, like a hydro flask or a cup or something like that. What inspired me was realizing how many water bottles I actually went through during the quarantine and when I worked out in my garage. Basically, I went through like three or four plastic water bottles a day and realized how much money I was wasting and how much water I was wasting and how much energy I was wasting by doing that. We can use a cup. I got a cup right here. I usually use uh, one of these big cups because it fills up a lot and it's super easy to drink out of. So we drink water every single day. We probably don't realize how much water is actually being used when we do it. A lot of the facts that I'll be talking about are from help, healthyhumanlife.com. Some of them are from Green Harvard and some of them are for, from foodwatch.org. Takes about three times the amount of water in three times the amount of water to create the bottle than it does of what you're actually getting. So say you get one water bottle, it took three of those to actually make that one water bottle, which doesn't make sense if we're trying to save water, right? It's cheaper, it's about two cents per gallon to drink tap water than it is about 64 cents to drink out of a bottled water. And you, if you realize you can refill the tap water all that many times until you actually reach 64 cents, and which is gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. It takes about 2,000 times the energy to manufacture a bottle of water. 2,000 times, not five times, it's 2,000 times the number of energy than it does to produce tap water. This should make us realize how much water we're actually using and how much water we're actually wasting when we're doing this. By having these companies produce less water bottles and us buy them less, they will be uh, will be saving energy because that energy will not be used to produce all the water bottles if we stop buying the water bottles. I'll now talk about recycling and the uses of waters. About 35 billion empty water bottles per year uh, are opened and only 12% are actually recycled. I recycle, my family recycles, some most people recycle, but sometimes water doesn't get into the recycle. Only 12% out of 35 billion actually make it into the recycling. Thousand people every second open a water bottle in the United States, which is crazy. Americans drink more bottled water than beer. As a college student, this is something that I kind of thought of a lot because I drink a lot of beer, but I also drink a lot of water. And realizing how many times I open a beer can and put it in the recycle is more often than me opening a water bottle and actually putting it into the recycle. I don't know if that's the same for you, but that's exactly what it is for me and probably some of my friends. Um, bottled water consumption has increased 10% each year. So we're not looking too great, but with the population growth going up, it's inevitable that water bottles are gonna be produced more. But the biggest thing is we need to get people to stop buying these water bottles. And so then these companies don't have the demand that they have for water bottles. I know during the quarantine, every single person wanted to go around and buy toilet paper and stock up on water bottles. Toilet paper, I understand, but water, you have tap water. Your bills aren't gonna go away. You're still gonna be at your house. Why can't you just use tap water? That was something that was really crazy to me. It takes less water, or it takes less energy to walk to the sink than it is for that person to, uh, that company to produce that water bottle. And purchasing a water filter is something you could do if you feel uh, scared about the water, that it's not safe. It's got like iron and chemicals in it. But there is actually a fact from foodandwaterwatch.org that bottled water generally is not cleaner, safer, or healthier than tap water. So that shouldn't give us any reason to bring filters. Another thing is that switching from plastic water bottles to a uh, like a hydro flask is kind of cool because you have your hydro flask, you can take it different places, you can put stickers on it. You can put your name on it. Sometimes you leave it at people's house. You want to make sure you get it back. It's kind of important to you once you actually have it. A lot of people carry them around with them and make them personalized towards you. It's super easy to do this. And if you start doing it, then you're able to get other people to see you and then they'll be able to do it as well. Some things that I really thought were uh, true when this was happening is like inexpensive. It's time saving. Uh, it's environmentally safe and it's not just water is water. It's tap water is going to save energy. It's going to save water. It's going to save garbage and it's going to be a lot more efficient if we make that switch from using a plastic water bottle and to start using uh, one non one refillable water bottle. I'm Carson and I hope you guys make the switch. 